good morning and as you can see from the bright sunshine it is a good morning but also I have won a ticket to detectable yeah if you watched uh, Seth Coast Detecting gave away a ticket um, and by the skin of my teeth from a redraw I won a ticket so yeah when I go to work today unfortunately I have to go to work after I've been down the beach so we've only got about two and a half hours on the beach which isn't long um, yeah I've got to sort out some time off so hopefully if anyone's watching that's going I will see you there uh, yeah come and find me by all means uh, just don't creep up on me when I've got headphones on today it is a very low tide apparently uh, so I'm going to go out on the rocks as seems usual at the moment but I'm going to go as far out as the tide will let me um, not the beach I was on last time picked a different beach uh, just because I haven't been here for it a while. Uh, I briefly walked through it and had a quick detect on my way back one day but I haven't done the rocks here for probably six months so I'm hoping there could be something churned up that's been missed and it's a low tide so I will try and get to that very fringe of the tide line which is I think it's about half a meter lower than a normal tide. It does go out this far just not very often. There's no wind so it's not blowing the sea back in prematurely as I can tell it looks quite calm yeah right I'm well gonna strap on the uh, little nail sharpshooter coil I bought um, the standard coil that the Explorer comes with. I brought that as well it's in my bag I probably won't stick it on I'll probably just stick to the nail other than that the usual and I'll see you on the first thing right I'm gonna show you the first fine like I normally do this one's a belter sounds lovely it's been uh, some heavy iron just behind me, a bit infested. I am joined this morning. Uh, where is he? He's right over there. He's detecting that cut where the white chalk is exposed at the bottom of that cliff there. He's running the equinox. Uh, yes, one of the locals. If ever you want some knowledge, go and have a chat with him. He's a very knowledgeable man, but we're going to have a go here. You can't... Top of the screen there. Put my earphones on so you won't be able to hear it, but... Ooh! Ooh! That's all I've got to say. Oh, I can't put you down because I haven't got my tripod set up, but... It's not going to be deep because we're in a rock pool. So, I could probably just use my pinpointer to find this one. It really isn't going to be deep, there's chalk right underneath it. Ooh! Where's it gone? Where has it gone? I cannot hear it. Nope. We are out, actually. As you can see, the chalk is so shallow. That's why I like rocks. Oh, what is that? I can see something. What is that? It actually looks like a ring. Oh, it's not a ring. You know what? <laughs> Could it be? Brass normally goes a different colour. Gold always comes up gold looking. Is that... Was that something mounted on that? Looks like it's got glue on it. Could that be a pendant? Or a... I don't think it was a badge. Can't see any evidence on the back. Oh, that's going to be one for testing when I go in. First. Oh, first target. This is the second time this happened down here. In years, I had a gold ring on my first target once. And I did catch it on video, so I'll put a link up in the corner. That was a long time ago. Wow, what is that? Right, okay. <laughs> Let's carry on. <laughs> Luck of the gods, I'm afraid. Second target four feet away from whatever it was I've just found I reckon that's gonna be gold I literally got it out of there popped it there yeah that's got to be do you know what <laughs> almost looks like it was stuck to whatever oh, there's a mark on the bottom 
Yeah, not sure what the mark is going to say. Hang on. I'll have a little wipe. We'll have a little look. It says Italy. Ooh. Hope it hasn't got the virus. Uh, I'm going with gold on that every day. Wow, look at that. <laughs> what a cool little spot. Right, let's crack on here. Same hole as that gold cross. There's another bit of jewellery. I say same hole. The gold cross come out here. Just checking the hole as you should. I don't know if this is going to be gold. Sure looks like it. Some sort of offering. Yeah, I've had I've had offering things here before where they offer to the sea. Again, it's not tarnished. So could it be? No tarnish on that anywhere. Can't see anything. Oh, <laughs> could we have a hot spot on the rocks? Ah, oh, wicked. Look at that weird little thing. No wonder this hole rang out so well. I've just checked it again. Have we got something else? I haven't looked at this one yet. But we've definitely got some uh, orange poking out of there. Let's have a look. Oh, look, it could be another one. Here's another one. There's two of them. Again. Oh, that one could. Maybe the edge where they've pressed the stones in, that could be copper. Still. Look at that, shiny, shiny. Last time I was out, I had that big, uh, that copper disc thing. And this is the stuff you normally find. It's normally broken. Bits of copper plate. Yeah, this is what it normally looks like. The bane of my life. Sounds like a ring, looks like a ring, but I don't think it is a ring. I think this is one of the Oh, I think it comes off a 50 caliber bullet. Um, yeah. <laughs> it didn't have a look like one when it came out of the floor. Yeah, I think that comes off a 50 cal. Um, you can see the rifling around the front edge there. Shame. I oh, know I've had one of these before. And I think that's what I was told it was. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'll just stop for a quick five minutes and a grab of coffee. Get a 20p, way, way, way out on the rocks. <laughs> that's been here a while. I have to get one, I suppose. One fishing weight. The tide is coming in. And that crow keeps following me around like a bad omen. I sit down, I have to go home now. 2p. Yep, <laughs> that was a lot of digging just for that. But still. Yep, spendable. Not all crusty and nasty. Afternoon, all right, part two of the hunt. Uh, really only because it was so short. Um, it was um, yeah, not enough to make a video, so I thought I'm gonna snatch a piece of time in the afternoon. Um, since the first part was filmed, yeah, the UK's gone bonkers, which is understandable. So I'm just making the most of available time before anything goes completely pear-shaped and I can't get out anymore. But I will continue to make videos up until I can't. So yeah, we're going to head to the same piece of beach. Uh, the weather has changed dramatically. It's no longer sunny and lovely. It is a bit windy. The tide's going out, although the wind's blowing it back in. Uh, everything's the same as before. So what we're going to do? Go down there, get wet and cold. See if there's any more strange offerings in the rock pools. Because uh, there's, there's a lot more rock pools to do down there. I only did a small strip. But I only had about an hour and a half, I think, down there. Right, let's go. Well, it's not my first find in the second part. I've just been getting a load of bullets, but we're nearby to where the offerings the two offerings were. Just pinpoint it with the pinpointer. Can you see it? Can you see it? Looking at it, it's still cool though. It's got a little elephant on it. Uh, quite a bit of stone in the end that's missing. Yeah, I think that's another bit of costume. 
a lot of the other stuff wasn't worth anything. It was literally just cheap stuff to offer to the sea. So I'm presuming that's another bit. Winner, winner. Yes, we have something half decent. That, on the other hand, is not funny. From my uh, scoop just snapped, and it's making it awful for digging. So I don't know. I'm going to continue like that. I might have a spade in the car, but that is a pain. We just found another ring. This one's been here a long time. Yes, it's probably plated in silver or gold at one point. The stone in the middle. That's been here forever. Cool, right, okay. Been a bit quiet apart from lead. Let's crack on. Didn't need to dig that one. I think it's gonna be five pence. Yep. Right, winner. Got a fossil down there, and I may as well pick it up and have a look. I'm not going to keep this one because it's uh, broken, but they're the normal size of the fossils that I find. They're big old sea urchins. Yeah. Nothing like a bit of social distancing today, as you can see. It's a bit barren of people. I think that's far enough away from the general public. I think I'll be safe. Oh, just having a route around down in there. Turned out it was a bit of lead, but. Look at that pin, that was sticking out down there. That is evil. Let's take that home, but very carefully. I can't knock it. It finds tiny little things, like a little copper rivet, and then great big things like this bit of bomb shrapnel. That was deep. Not a bad little coil. Got something interesting. Can we see it hanging out the side of the scoop? Right, that's the junk. Well, I say junk, it's not all junk. That is the rubbish. There was some beach, proper beach rubbish. I picked this up. I did pick up a big helium foil coated balloon that was stuck on the rocks. Um, yeah, that's general rubbish. Aluminium scrap, some bits of plastic, that nasty bottle top, some glass. The usual. That's all the lead, including bullets, um, fishing weights, quite a few of them. There's a bit of shrapnel we did have actually, that's not lead, but I don't want that anymore. Um, I don't know what that was. Again, junk really. Yeah, that's me lead. Uh, the finds of the day, or the split day if you like. Interesting, give it that. Um, I don't think any of them are gold actually. Not even sure on the cross. Uh, yeah, I mean, people will have two minds on offerings to the beach, but I have been told that once stuff has been offered to the sea, that's it. It's, it's the sea has taken it and then do as you wish I suppose um, some people have said to me oh that's bad luck but I personally don't believe in luck and I'm not a fan of religion either um, I could chuck them back in the sea but mm, it's still polluting the sea so they're here here's what it is this stuff on this side was nowhere near these things these was like a, a collection in one area this, I don't know if it is silver. Um, could be. Can't see any marks on it though. It was all punched up in the bottom. I haven't untangled it. Uh, that is a some sort of uh, it's cannon. 50 cal, 20 mil. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's a um, it's a projectile band that goes around them. I've had them before on the secret beach. I had those. Did you get a bag seal? I didn't even know I had a bag seal. Again, how old, what it's from, probably not too old. Here, yeah, one lead bag seal. Uh, another junky ring, I'm not sure if it was silver plated. Still got stone in it, but yeah, worthless. But you know, it's a ring, promising. 
coins, a 20, a 2 and a 5. Nothing too special, but it was fun. Definitely fun. Did enjoy that, actually. Especially that lot there. Showing up and uh, giving me a heart attack. Uh, I will get out again. Um, I'm going to go back and finish a farm hunt I started the other day, but I only had an hour or two after I spoke to the farmer. Uh, I am um, abiding by the um, social distancing. Uh, I am going to the farm, but I literally get in the car, get out the car, I don't see anyone. I might have a quick chat with a farmer at a distance, and then uh, I'm going to carry on. But I might be helping him pack potatoes on Monday. I don't know. We'll see when we get there. Uh, I did offer my help to him because he is absolutely busting the gut this, at the moment with the current climate in this country, getting food out. And I will go down the beach again. Again, I don't see anyone in the car, straight to the beach, straight down. Until they enforce uh, a quarantine lockdown where you can't go out, I will continue to make videos when I can. Hopefully tomorrow I'll get down the beach. Maybe first thing, maybe in the afternoon. It's a midday high tide, so... We get to uh, try out the scoop, and that should be interesting. Right, okay, if you want to see me make the, uh, go through how I made the scoop, I'll do another video. That will be possibly linked in the corner. I'll try and do that. If not, I'll see you on the next hunt.